What we're going to do today is we're going to take this image, which is a screen grab of the Tri-C website, and we're going to slice it up into pieces that we could use to make clickable links. So I want this to be clickable, this section to be clickable, this section to be clickable, the college logo to be clickable, and then each of these individual um, labels to be clickable. There's a couple ways we can do this. What we did in class is used a method called uh, create slices from guides. And we're going to do that, but we're going to combine it with just using the slice tool itself. So we're going to do a little bit of each. So let's just get started here. And um, I'll show you pretty much what we did in class, but with a couple of little different approaches as we go along. So right now, we're using, this is a default selection, it's a crop tool, but we need to get to the slice tool. So if you click and hold on the crop tool, you'll see the slice tool is now what we're going to be using. Um, and we're going to use the ruler. So if your rulers are not showing, if you look and you see no rulers, you could go to view rulers or easier is just command R. So command R, if I hold down the pan key, R, rulers disappear, do it again, they're back, so we have the rulers. So I'm going to grab a ruler, or grab a guide rather, from the ruler and pull it down to here. So click in the ruler, pull down, it creates a guide, and I'm going to line it up here. I'm going to go to the left side, and I'm going to pull a guide over to there. And I'm doing this pretty quickly just for the sake of the demo. You might want to spend a little more time getting this 100% right. Now I want to set up this area, the logo. So I'm going to drag over to there from the left, drag over to there from the right, from the left again, from the top, from the top. Now before we start slicing, I just want to point out a little design issue, which you, you if you notice that the top of the logo is lined up at the top of this search bar. That's a visual property called alignment. And anytime you align elements like that, it automatically makes a page look more organized and more visually appealing. So when, when you can, try and align elements. Uh, it makes for a much more attractive layout. All right, so now we have all of these lined up. And what we're going to do is start combining things, because right now there's too many individual slices. So. Because I have the Slice tool selected, I see the button called Slices from Guides. So I'm going to click on that. And you can see what it's done is made all of these individual slices. Um, so let's go through here and step by step combine what needs to be combined. So as I look at this, this top strip would make much more sense to be all one piece than all these individual pieces. I don't need them as separate pieces. So I'm going to do something we did not do in class, which is if you hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC, watch the icon for the tool. It changes with the command key or control on a PC to the slice select tool. And that's what we need to do. We need to select these slices so we can combine them. Um, and what we want to do is click and shift click rather and select all of them as a group so I'm gonna go back here command shift and now you can see I've got all five of these selected I'm gonna right click and combine it into one now I want to combine these three into one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to command click here. Notice that's now selected. And then I'm going to hold down both command and shift. All three of these are selected. Right click, combine. So I've got one slice, two, three. This is all number four. Now, let's combine all of these into slice number five. So again, command, click there, hold down the shift key, and click all the way across. So now you can see we've got this entire strip selected. Right click, combine, 
That's slice number five. I want this to be one big slice, so command shift, I mean, sorry, command click, and then hold down the shift key. Those three, right click, combine. All right, number six, number seven, as good as it is, number eight, as good as it is. And I want to combine everything else into one big slice. So I'm once again, command, click there, hold down the shift key, click, 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 ta da, right click, combine. So now I've got basically, you could do this a little differently. You could have combined these three into one and then this one and this one. So you could arrange it a little bit differently, but fundamentally you're going to get something like this. One big one here. This, the logo is its own slice. As you notice, if I click on it, highlights in gold. That's the logo, so that'll be clickable. And we're just about ready to go, except what about these guys here? Um, I want those to be clickable. And we could have done that with slices from guides. We could have done this. But I think you can see it might have gotten a little messy with maybe a little more combining than I really wanted to do. So uh, we could have done it that way, but I think it, that would have been maybe a little bit harder than what we're going to do. So let me get back in time here. That's where we were. Oh, one more. Okay, that's where we were with our slices. Now I'm actually going to kind of freehand these slices as opposing to use the guides, using the guide. So I'm going to use the slice tool itself, which is what I've got here. And in the view menu, I want to set to snap, because what I want is for the tool to snap to these guides. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit with command plus space bar lets me move it. And now I'm going to take that tool and draw with it. Now, I don't know about you, but I really find that little um, X-Acto knife um, icon to be annoying. I'd much rather have a crosshair. So to get the crosshair, you press the caps lock key. Now that crosshair is going to work a little bit better. So I'm actually going to start right on the guide and draw a slice. And you notice as soon as I draw that slice, now I've got another guide that automatically got dropped in there. That's going to be helpful. Now, when you go to draw the next slice, one of the problems is, as you try to click here, sometimes it's hard to see it. Well, that worked pretty good, so I'm all right with that. The other option, actually, is to click start on the right side and click there and pull it back to the left which sometimes is easier. doesn't make any difference which way you do it, though. Six, seven, eight, nine. Looks to me like I'm done. Um, let me zoom out a little bit with Command minus. And let me just double check. With my Command key held down, slice select. So one slice, two, the logo is a third slice. This is a slice. There's a new one, number five got added in there. Number six is what we're going to click on. Seven, about try C8, campus. Nine, ten is this across. Eleven, this one, twelve, that one, thirteen. Okay, I think we've got the minimum number of slices that we can get. So um, we're going to stop the slicing right now because we're done with that. And the next thing we're going to do is save what we have.